हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू टेस्टिंग दुनिया एंड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एजाइल मॉडल एंड वाटरफॉल मॉडल वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन बोथ मॉडल्स एंड बेसिक्स ऑफ दिस मॉडल्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस यू कैन रेफर दोज वीडियोस बट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बोथ मॉडल्स लेट्स स्टार्ट द डिफरेंस इज फर्स्ट डिफरेंस बिटवीन एजाइल एंड वाटरफॉल इज दैट इन एजाइल मेथडोलॉजी टेस्टिंग इज परफॉर्म्ड कॉन्क्रेंटली विद सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट whereas in waterfall model the testing phase comes after the development phase this is a clear point we have already seen that in agile methodology the testing and uh, development process are concurrent and testers and developers work together to uh, resolve the issues and deliver the sprint but in case of agile methodology the testing phase starts only after the development phase is complete second point is Agile divides SDLC into in sprints, whereas a software development process is divided into phases. In waterfall model, SDLC is divided into phases, but in uh, Agile, SDLC is divided into sprints. Third point, it follows an incremental approach, whereas waterfall follows a sequential approach. Next is Agile is a flexible method, where changes are expected. accepted at any level of uh, pro- uh, at the any stage of the project whereas waterfall model is a uh, uh, we can say that it is not as much flexible as agile here because each phase is a set of defined uh, criteria to complete before entering to the next phase next point is agile methodology follows an iterative development approach and each phase of each sprint of uh, a rail is having the all sdlc processes like requirement analysis design coding testing whereas waterfall model all the project development phase like designing documentation development testing etc are completed once the in the waterfall model in waterfall there is a dedicated phase for every activity so after the completion of one phase that second phase will start and it will not the one phase will not interfere in the other phase uh, one more point is that agile development is a process in which the requirements are expected to change in agile the the complete the whole team uh, knows that the changes can come at any time at any stage of the project whereas in waterfall model the what it is ideal for the project which has definite requirements and change is not at all expected so waterfall is good in the case of that projects which are uh, where the requirements are you can say freezed or you can say uh, some concrete requirements are there in that case waterfall model is fle- is feasible the practical example of the practical difference between what agile and waterfall i can say that suppose a project is going in waterfall mode and at the time of the design after the design phase the project was abandoned then the client will have only the some document different kinds of documents with him no working functionality or module but in agile if the project is abandoned at the any point of the time the client will have some part of function functionality working functionality and modules with him so this is the basic difference between agile and waterfall model i hope you like this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thanks for watching